sometimes he's looked very, very impressive against some pretty tough opponents here. I mean, they've really thrown this guy to the wolves against some of the top fighters in all of KOK, and really he's done quite well for himself. But at the end of the day, he hasn't come out the victor here. And as I mentioned at the top of the show here, I think that this fight is going to be a, a turning point for him. If he loses this one, he's, I think he's going to really be considered uh, to be thrown out of the promotion. But if he wins it, he could put himself right back in the conversation in the middleweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner, fighter representing Estonia, Alexei Larin. said his best asset as a fighter is his power. Comes straight after lottering in this one. That was 
as he went low with the left hook and then came over the top of the right now. Hinzu really putting on the pressure now. Look at this. He's closing in on him. And you can see that Lauring is really starting to feel the pain there from those shots from Hinzu. Heavy blows going in from the Ukrainian. And Lauring was showing a lot of speed and agility as the bell rung. But now, with only a minute remaining, he has slowed down, visibly slowed down. Measuring him with the right hand, but luckily for Lonnie, he was able to get his left arm up to block that shot. Man, oh man, you can hear the impact from those blows there. Nice one there. pick up the pace here a little bit and starting to get some work done as well. Turning back kick that time upstairs. Ten seconds remaining now. Oh boy. Mixing it up there at the end of round number some kind of a nick on the left side of the skull there of uh, Lottering. Yeah, that's starting to drip blood now. These, those two are really trading shots, big, heavy shots there, and that could have been from a, who knows, an accidental collision of heads or an elbow may have landed or a knee, something does. Kinzu scores first blood. And I believe the referee going to have a, well, no, they're going to take a look at, I thought they were going to stop it to take a look at the, yeah, the, there must have been a clash of heads there because the ringside doctor there cleaning up the eyebrow, I believe, of Hinzu and Lauren bleeding from the left side of his cranium somewhere in that exchange. They must have clashed. <laughs> Referee seems to think that uh, that's not any kind of a fight-stopping injury. And the ringside doctor seems to agree as well. And this thing will continue. Corner of... Just mopping him up a little bit, and we'll get back to business. 
I don't think that that's going to change the style of the fight, though, between these two. <laughs> no blood, no foul. Well, there was blood, and it was a foul, but it's not going to stop these two from going right back to work. Whoa, that one looked like it may have strayed low, that kick there from the Estonian. Well, that cut has popped back open already of uh, Hinzu, and that's not going to slow him down either. Clubbing overhand right has opened up Larin once again as well. So the blood is flowing here in Tallinn tonight. Whoa, and that one, that one went low. I'll tell you what, these two, a little bit out of control, if we can be honest, because uh, I thought that Hinzu hit a low blow earlier when they when they went back to work after the stoppage, and then the blood started flowing again, and now the low kicks are flowing. Everything is going. And that's what happens when you've got two guys just going as hard as they possibly can and standing in front of each other. That's when things go awry. That's the kind of fighter that, that Hinzu is, though. He just really likes to mix it up and just, you know, open up on your opponent and let the chips fall where they may. Big shot downstairs, followed up with a right hand. This one is not for the weak at heart, ladies and gentlemen. Now that cut of Hinzu is not in a good place. It looks like it's underneath the eyebrow. It's, it's somewhere on the orbital bone between the eyebrow and the eyelid. And that means that the eye is going to be swollen and it's going to be bleeding. And it doesn't look like it's dripping down into his eye, but the referee just took a look at the cut and, and he cringed. So, oh, oh, oh the, the spit just knocked out of the mouth that time of somebody. What an exchange that was to end round number two. That is a huge gash. It's like a gaping wound just over the left eye of Hinzu. Boy, this, this round was really brutal. Neither of these two men will be the same after this one. It's one of those rounds where if you want to see highlights, you just have to watch the whole darn thing again. All three minutes of it worth having another look. If you're going to be watching this later again on YouTube or wherever, uh, KOKFights.com on Fightbox, then uh, man, if you have the luxury of rewinding it, take another look at that round and tell you what. Timmons out. Three underway, three minutes on the clock here in the KLK middleweight division at 85 kilos. Whoa! Big kick upstairs that time by Lauren. What another one that time. He's caught him sleeping. Inzu had better wake up here. Looking for a massive uppercut that time, but just out of range. slowed down significantly here in round three. Ooh, he's still got that power, though. Watch out. Oh, my, look at this. 
it's coming dangerously close to colliding again. Well, and that was a foot colliding with the groin of Vladimir Hinzu. The second time here in this fight. And after two of them, you can't just walk it off. Ladies and gentlemen, after this round is done and after this fight is over, I'm going to head up to the ring and have a special announcement for you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. About shots in there. Judge decision. The winner is Luca 